One of the exciting things about being in weight loss surgery or what's called bariatric surgery is new technology. This is an area where new staplers are be being developed all the time, new instruments, and new ways of doing weight loss surgery, including different operations that allow us to bring better results, better outcomes, and safer operations to our patients to help them lose weight. Coming down the pike, first thing is intraluminal suturing, which is called the overstitch right now. It is made by Apollo, and what it is is a special device that we can go endoscopically inside the stomach, and we can actually suture the stomach to create a narrow tube from the inside, mimicking the sleeve gastrectomy. When we do this operation, it's an outpatient procedure where you can come in, you go into the endoscopy suite, you get sedated, and we go down the mouth into the esophagus, into the stomach, and we're able to suture the stomach, taking bites of one side of the stomach to another side to create a narrow tube and restrict how much food the patient can eat. It mimics the sleeve gastrectomy in that you'll eat about four to six ounces of food, be full and feel full for about four to six ounces hours. This will allow you to eat less and, in, and subsequently lose weight at a rate of about two to five pounds a week. Another new technology that is about to get to approved by the FDA is the intragastric balloon. Now the intragastric balloon is exactly what it sounds like. It's a balloon that we put inside the stomach or the gastric wall that occupies space. We do that endoscopically, which means it's a non-surgical procedure. It is a procedure which requires sedation where we go in with an endoscope, we go down the mouth, into the esophagus, into the stomach, and we have a special device that allows us to deploy, deploy a balloon which we fill with saline. That balloon holds about 700 cc's of saline. It occupies most of the stomach, so it leaves a very small space that allows you to eat a small amount of food, feel full, and stay full for a long time. This allows you to lose about 30% of your excess body weight. This is great for the patient who's got a wedding coming up, they've got a high school or college reunion that they really want to get ready for, or somebody who's struggling with diabetes or high blood pressure or even sleep apnea, and even a small amount of weight loss in conjunction with a medical weight loss program will have a tremendous effect on their health and their life expectancy. The intragastric balloon, initially after placing it, is a little bit uncomfortable. There's a heaviness feeling inside the abdomen and in the stomach that takes about three to four days to get used to. During that time, you may need some anti-nausea medications such as Zofran or Phenergan, and you will need some pain medication to help with that discomfort. After the balloon is placed, you'll eat small amounts of food and you'll feel full and keep that full feeling for the rest of the day. You'll have to remind yourself to eat three meals a day, about four to six ounces. The intragastric balloon will stay in place for about six months. During that time, we expect you to lose about 30% of your excess body weight. Most of that will be within the first three to four months. During that time, you'll also learn a new way of eating, a healthier way of eating, that will help you even after the balloon is taken out. The balloon can only stay in for six months. After six months, the balloon will have to be taken out, and this is done endoscopically. You'll come into the endoscopy suite, you'll be sedated, and then we'll go down into the mouth, through the esophagus, into the stomach. We will get the fluid out of the balloon and then retrieve it out your mouth. Once the balloon is out, we will continue to work with the medical weight loss program to maximize your weight loss and maintain that weight loss and follow you for the next six months and make sure that you're doing well.